And we're back in the Modern Knights with Kristoff and his coterie who have just successfully defeated the Under Prince, who really was a very unique character. I loved him. We planted our little wiretap to understand what's going on with the Giovanni and hopefully move in on the Giovanni before the feds do. Because the Giovanni are watching for the feds. Okay, we should probably unequip the big gigantic sword. I'll pass that to Sam. Also, no, no, bad kindred, bad vampire. No, you do not get to bite people. <laughs> I'm certain you do, Samuel. And Kristoff almost went after an old man. Really, Kristoff? Slightly disappointed, sir. Okay, so the team is looking good. We have quite a few items to sell. Maybe we should hit up the shop real quick. I love the fact that the new moon is right there, ladies and gentlemen. We'll hit up the shop and then we'll go talk to Deb Null. Blessed be. Blessed be indeed. Um. Ah, uh, we're going to have to move some things just so they sell a little bit better to her. Because that's, that's really what we're all about, ladies and gentlemen. We're trying to sell everything at a premium. Because we should. We've got some diamond rings. We've got some gold necklaces. Some diamond necklaces. Let's just pass those over to our more... Actually, manipulation is the stat that I think scales with selling. So, Lily, fairly decent haggler. I'm impressed. I feel like all Toreador at some point are at least fairly decent hagglers unless unless of course ladies and gentlemen it's a piece of art that they simply must have <laughs> even if the seller does not particularly want to get rid of it then that's a huge problem okay lily let's get rid of the gold watch we don't really need the diamond for the appearance actually i kind of want to keep a little bit of this diamond we'll get rid of the gold we'll sell What's the most expensive? That's... Okay, we'll get rid of the diamond necklace. We'll keep the bracelet and the ring. Just because, you know, I want Kristoff or Lily to at least maybe use some present disciplines at some point in time. Really, it should be Lily with her manipulation. Um. Okay, not too bad. We got some money and we actually have enough to afford the discipline amulet. Oh, man. Blood cost at 60%, and then we can pass that to Lily so she could just make it rain fire. Forever. Um, let's sell these diamonds. So, if we sell, if we buy that, how much are we going to have left over? Not a lot. Like, 1,700? Um, I think it's worth it. I'm going to take a big old risk on this and we're gonna go for it all right ladies and gentlemen oh that hurt that hurts so bad um of course uh let's have pink buy up all this blood oh that hurt my soul so let's check it out on lily right wow there we go so we got the discipline amulets. Let's check her disciplines. Blood five, blood five, blood fifteen. Now does it will we be able to see it in these stats here? So the blood is 20 on here. Let's remove this for a second from Lily. And let's check again. It might not show, maybe. Uh still says 20. But we'll clip it to Lily and then we'll do some tests a little bit later on. So there we go. I'm pretty happy with that purchase. I think it's going to help us out quite a bit as we continue in the world of darkness. Now let's head back to Deb Null and see what's going on. I just... The Underprince, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think I'm ever going to stop talking about the Underprince and how impressive I found the character. Also, I love the fact that Samuel was slightly offended <laughs> at being called pretty. Or at least with the group of pretties. I thought that was a really nice touch. And I just enjoy the overall 
writing in this game. The dungeons, mm, I'm a little bit iffy on them, but I really do enjoy just, just the atmosphere, I guess you could say, and everything that goes on in this game. All right, let's go see what's up with Dev. Hey, Dev Null, have you got it? I'm not Dev Null. I'm a stalking panther closing in on my prey. Okay. Stalking badger. <laughs> now then, uh, give me a bit more omni power. Yeah, so open up the anomaly cufflinks. Uh, add a pinch of witch hazel. Poof! It's an anomaly D for flavor. Uh, Dev. Okay. Hey, come back to real life. Real life? The life of Rhea? I loathe real life. Whatever that is. I sacrificed real life on the altar of my altered state. Or did I sacrifice the life of Rhea? Or was that her sister? Or her cousin? I forget. Wait. I'm gonna kill him. <coughs> All that for nothing? It was just a stupid prank. I'm gonna tear his sodden head off. Hold on. You'll Hold on. Go through me first, you 80s fashion victim. <coughs> oh, definitely. No. Wilt thou give unto us the codes from the FBI central computer? Okay. It's BV72. Well, here, I'll just print it out. Thank you. Thank thee, worthy Malkavian. I am in thy debt. I'm not. We don't know if these codes work on the Giovanni warehouse. That nutter could be sending us right into a trap. Sure. Speaking of traps, I also emailed Bill for a pink and fluffy surprise. To eat your words. What? Oi! What do you mean, trap? What surprise? Mm, let's see. Uh, where was I? <laughs> Cashmere weather data merged with um, the Library of Alexandria. Uh, I added a visit from God's forces and drew in amethyst from a seedy court. Speak sense. No one pulls my beard and lips. Whoa. Say what? Ugh. What? I hate Malkavians. I don't know. I think he's charming. In a paradoxical kind of way. Okay, Lily. This better not be a trap, or I'll split your cracked head open, you damn bedlamite. Bedlamite? Oh, I, uh, that's a big job. Oh, I'm already dazed and kefir. I thank thee for thy service, noble lunatic. Let us be off. Fare thee well, Devno. Huh? Fare thee well, Devno. Also, um, did anyone catch the fact that Pink kind of, like, slipped up? He was talking about pull his beard. I don't feel like that's a standard, you know, English saying. I don't know about that, but it's like pink slipped out of an accent. I'm starting to think that Dev Null is crazy like a fox. He doesn't like. He doesn't like pink and pink just slipped out of his accent there for a second. So Pink may have ulterior motives to assisting Kristoff on this wild adventure. And I'm a little bit weary of him now. You know what? Give me my blood. G give me all the blood. We're just going to pass that to Kristoff. I mean, he's already full up. That's interesting. I was trying to also, like, catch on to some of the other things that Devno was saying. And a lot of it went right over my head. He was talking about the Sealy Courts and Alexandria. I'm trying to figure out, like, who was running Alexandria at the time. What kindred. And y you got me. Also, hold on. This will give us an opportunity to at least test our blood loss, right? So let's take this off. We're, we're going to eyeball it here. That is fireball. We need firestorm. Okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that that made a heck of a difference. So we'll pass that to our girl. She should be alright. And we'll give her a little bit of blood. Just to replace what she just used up. So yeah. That was a very good purchase. Hopefully we can find more items like that. As time goes on, maybe pass him to Kristoff. Make him a bit of an unstoppable monster, if you will. The Sealy Court. Pull oh, my beard. I'm trying to figure out where that accent that our friend kind of slipped up with. 
where that could be from. Homeless lady, let's head around. Up we go, and this is supposedly how we get into the Giovanni warehouse. Let's save before we go in, because we might actually be hit up after we head in. Let's save over East London, and then we'll save when we get in, maybe? Something like that. Hey! Malkavian was true to his word. Yes, he was. Which word? None of them made any sense. Mm, I don't know about that, Pink. I partially do not want to give Pink any of his weapons back. Something just a little bit fishy about his exchange with Evnol, but then again, we kind of have to. Um, we have a couple spare rounds of ammo. We'll pass those. I don't really think he needs the chainsaw. We just need him to default to Feral Claws, or do I just have to hit Feral Claws for... Sam doesn't have any armor! Okay, let's just... Hopefully we don't get stopped in the street for carrying swords and guns and stuff. We need to get Sam, you know, some actual protective gear. So we might have to sell a few of our items to get him protected up. But that's a small price to pay for Sam, you know, actually surviving. Please don't tell me we get hit up by the police. Please just, just a random guy running around with a two-handed sword. Don't worry about me. There we go. Okay, um, where did those gems go? Did I just lose diamonds running away from the police? Okay. Lily just, ah, <sighs> we'll see if we can find those on the way back. Sell the diamond ring, and ah, uh, we'll sell the diamond bracelet too. Okay, so we've got an armored t-shirt, tactical jacket. We'll, we'll have to go with the armored t-shirt. That's all that we can afford for right now. We'll get that, and we will get our boy a helmet. That should be at least all right for him. Can I get rid of something first? Um, I guess Pink will have to buy the helmet then. Or actually, we could get SWAT helmet, 10, 15, 10, 10. Let us, yeah, let's go with the SWAT helmet. Let's pick that up. All right. Okay. Don't be a stranger, you know? We'll try not to be, sir. All right, we got that. And let's pass this to Sam as well. There we go. All right, so Sam can actually, I don't know, survive more than five seconds in a fight. He did seem a little bit, what am I looking for? Frail. Frail is the word. Hey, we found our diamonds. Imagine that. We dropped, what, like six, seven diamonds on the street in New York, and we came back and they were there. Now that, that, ladies and gentlemen, isn't it? Well, I was going to say a Christmas miracle, but technically it's after Christmas. It's almost New Year's, I think. Let's say a New Year's miracle. Alright, so we're in here. Save again since we got our boy some nice new gear. And let's see what the Giovanni have in store. Oh! Well, we're going in. They summoned rates? Yeah, because that's what the Giovanni are known for. Duh. Guys, guys, kill them. Kill them. Now, please. Heal? Heal? Oh, good grief, man. Well, at least we got some money. And... You turned into a wolf? Really, Pink? You turned into a wolf. Whatever. Okay. So, Giovanni are better with spirits. The... Cappadocian clan was always better um, with zombies. That's just kind of how they are. Anybody else in here? Yep. Oh! Halitosis. <laughs> the Giovanni's trademark discipline. Oh! Guys! 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 Little, little help? Sam! Sa Sam! Stop! 
There! Come on, Sam. Good grief, man. Come on, Sam. Ah, uh, okay, well, hey, at least we got a lead pipe. Hold on! Is that money on a scale over here? Or is that... I guess it's money. Yeah, it's money. No, that's not money. We're just gonna... We're just gonna keep moving. And we got this door to open. Let's go get the rest of the Kodori. Who you know, we're so supportive. Thanks, guys. I see you're no longer a wolf. Pink, thank you. Yeah, it helps out a lot. Eel. Eel. Let's crack this baby up. Open. And we should probably be hitting a lot of fortitude. All right, what do we got? Hollywood party. Or smack. I'm not sure how to explain it to someone born before Europe even had tobacco. Just think of it as poison. There you go. It's what the juice bags put in their blood when they want to feel powerful as a canine. Then truly it is the stuff of damnation. <laughs> okay. Oh! Well, we, we just had a lovely little interlude. Okay. Um. Come on. Okay, this is bad. Okay. That did not go well. What are these guys packing? Because that, that was definitely more firepower than what we have. Try to kill this guy. There we go. Come on, Kristoff. There we go. All right, Kristoff. Go after the next one. Heal up. Heal up. Heal up. Come on, Kristoff. You can do it. There we go. Alright, we got it. Is there still that guy up there? Yeah, Lily's doing something to him. Is Sam up there? Go Sam! Alright, and we got this guy too. Really, we should be giving this um, blood to Lily? But I, I just want to be okay with this. We can win this fight. We do know that there's a Giovanni over there. I'm interested to see what we could do with the Giovanni. I really do miss Serena. I miss the ability to summon rates. Hopefully we'll get that power. Or we could have possibly completely missed it in game. Sadly, we're not going to get Serpentis either. Um, Lily, if you would, let's raise Kristoff. Um, there we go. Alright, so Kristoff's back. Um, what blood do we have? We've got two. Let's go ahead and drink that, and then we'll heal Kristoff up. Good grief, man. So, that's why the feds are on the Giovanni's case. Because, apparently, they're moving all this into New York, ladies and gentlemen. Eh, it is kind of Giovanni's MO, though. I thought that they'd be a little bit... Well, no. Th this is completely the Giovanni's MO. Um, let's save right here, and then we can keep going, and hopefully... Take out the guy who destroyed us last time. What? Okay, so... We died to a bug. Well, alright then. Let's move up, and hopefully... Figure out what we need to do here. Anything that we could pull? Any levers? Yeah. Alright. Better pink than Kristoff.
Come on. Come on. I don't... Ah. Oh. Lily. There we go. Sadly, we're kind of out of blood, though. This is rough, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, hey, we found a revolver. Yeah. That's what we need. I think pink still has the... Okay, not good. Can pink just continue taking... Oh! We're gonna have to go in. We're gonna feed. Come on, Pink. There we go. Come on, Pink. There we go. Wraith, don't save him. There we go. Alright, now Pink can run. Heal up. Ugh. This is what attacking a Giovanni's warehouse is. You walk in, think everything's good, and then ghosts just pop out out of nowhere. We still have the Scroll of Awaken. We'll use that on Kristoff real quick. And frankly, I'm thinking we're a little hurt here, ladies and gentlemen. We don't really have any blood left. Yikes. And we're all kind of just... Stuck. We do have one scroll to walk the abyss. I slightly want to use the gro the scroll. We'll buy some new blood. Oh, nice. We'll buy some blood. And then we'll hit up the new moon. So, be right back after we purchase some blood. Okay, so we're back. Let's pick up this blood that I dropped. And hopefully do well. At least we get to keep this. So Walk the Abyss is still here. I'm going to save in another location. Kristoff off camera may or may not have tried to bite a police officer and... Yeah, they don't really respond too well to that. Fun fact. Okay, where are the Giovanni? You know what? Attack, y'all. Just attack. Ah, I think it's called Plague Wind. That ability. Come on, come on, come on, somebody. There we go. Okay, that thing should be disappearing soon. There we go. All right, good job, team. Let's keep moving. Okay, we have another one. Yeah, this is going to be one of those situations where I don't know what's going to happen every fight. And we might save a little bit more. I'm thinking we should probably also update everyone after the last battle. Oof! Go, Kristoff! One hit, one kill. Nice. Kristoff is the master, ladies and gentlemen. There's definitely something on the other side of this door, considering that Samuel kicked it. Save, and we shall continue mowing down the Giovanni. Well, in all reality, some bad's probably behind this door. I know it. Oh! Thank you for the save! See? That's how it really should be. Okay, let me just push it one time just in case. Okay, so the button has been pushed. Now, what area have we opened up? Oh, what do we have here? What could the Giovanni possibly be hiding in here outside of, you know, the usual? A submachine gun? Okay, I guess we'll take that. Take an SMG. Is there anything else in this area? We could probably pass that to Lily, and we got an assault rifle as well. I could dig it. What's in the suitcase? Money? A disease vaccine. Okay, I 
don't know. Are you sure it's a disease vaccine? Well, that's what they have out here. A scroll of summon. Okay, and that's about it. All right. Okay, looks like we're all right. Was that it in the Giovanni warehouse? That can't be it. Was there something further this way? No, I think that that's, that's it. That doesn't lead to a new area at all. Okay, Sam. Really, I should also be using Sam as kind of a stealthy operator to figure out where the Giovanni are, or what they're doing. Let's take the sap gloves. You have no space, really? They're that big? Wow. Interesting. Okay, let's pass this. Pink, could you please pick up that chainsaw? I also think I noticed a couple Giovanni using chainsaws as well. So, yeah, they, they're definitely scar-facing it out here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I don't think that this was open. So let's save again just before we get assaulted by 9 million rates. Okay, and hey, what's up? Please don't spit! Please don't spit on us! Okay, there we go. Okay. I thought we were about to eat plague one. Okay. Damn it. I told you to go back to England. Thou hast a strange way of showing thy thanks. Mm hmm Who are you anyway? Uh, you sure as hell ain't Interpol. <laughs> what was your first clue? Be content to know that for the moment we are thy salvation. Mm. I don't want your salvation. Then you're lucky we give it free. <laughs> and what the hell are these Giovanni freaks? They are not just mobsters. Are they some kind of mutants? Uh. Oh yeah, sure, mutants. Thou art safe now, George Thorne. We go. <laughs> I'm coming with you. Thou would surely die. I can handle myself. No. Okay, so we saved George Thorne. So we can't do too much else with Mr. Thorne. There's some sap gloves in the corner, a little bit of money. But is that it? Some leather gloves, some cash, $500 in cash. Not too bad. We're saving an FBI agent. So he's okay in the corner there. The question is, where do we go now? We saved him. Feeling free. Oh, there's a second door behind the first door. Okay. So this is going to be rough. Let's at least heal up. And then we'll move forward and see how this works out. I kind of wonder. No, Serena, sadly, they took out the Cappadocians. A part of me is wondering whether or not Serena might still be alive, but no. Nah. They were pretty thorough, from what I understand. When it came to the Giovanni. Lily, what are you doing? Okay, everything should be dead. There we go. So yeah. Best spell ever. Or best ability ever in this game. Not too terrible. We'll have Kristoff kind of chill out, heal up a little bit more. And we will have a Lily on support in the back. We'll save up again just in case this turns into, out to be ugly. And we'll keep it moving. What do we got? Come out, come out, wherever you are, Giovanni. Hello? Anyone? Yeah, I just heard somebody. 
Um, he around the corner. Okay, let's go for this guy. Come on! Come on! Okay, heal up, Kristoff. It's looking bad. Kristoff's not looking. Okay. Lily. And Kristoff goes down into Torpor. That's Lily. Actually, let's... Ah, uh, well, hey, he's down now. Let's get Awaken out. Hey, Kristoff up. There we go. Eh, we got Gold Watch, at least. And... Diamond Necklace? Hopefully. Hopefully one of these Giovanni's ball them. Hey, alright. That'll buy us quite a bit of blood. Anything else out here? Hey, Foot Locker, what do we got? Weapons, guns, another disease vaccine! Cause that's... Really what I wanted, ladies and gentlemen. Another disease vaccine. Why's Kristoff down again? Okay. And I'm guessing we're... Completely out of blood. So whatever push we make is going to be hopefully the final one. If not, we shall see. All right, I do believe it's this door next. Let's save again and head into it. What? He has a rocket launcher? Come on, come on, grab him. Please grab him before he shoots again. Please. There we go. No rocket launcher in the face. Oh uh, yeah. I, I, I want to think everybody's all right. Sam, please don't die. Oh, Sam. Oh uh, yeah. How are Lily and, okay, I think they'll be all right, right? Come on, Kristoff. Eat a little quicker. But yeah, Plague Wind is the discipline. I, I love that ability. I remember in the Modern Knights, Giovanni answers Frenzy. Okay, I'm fine with that. And we're good. Hey, all right. And everybody won? Okay, perfect. So we did manage to restore some of our blood reserves. Why is Samuel not coming back? I guess we were just... So if I'm not in range to use that ability, it really shouldn't go off. But you know what? I'll just keep my salt to myself. I'm also a little salty we didn't get rocket launcher off of that. You know, I guess small miracles, at least we do have some type of blood, but still, come on, man. Really? Just give us a rocket launcher, although I don't know if I want to give it to Pink. And we're at the second level of the Giovanni Warehouse. This is definitely a traditional dungeon, then. All right, thank you all for watching. Please be excellent to each other. And <laughs> tune in to the next thrilling installment in the adventures of... Kristoff and his coterie in the modern nights as they delve deeper into the Giovanni mansion and figure out what really lies in here. It seems that their drug business was just at the surface. What lies beneath? Perhaps the Giovanni are doing a deal with the dreaded Zamitsi right now. And maybe we can interrupt that deal. Or perhaps the leader of the Giovanni is here, sequestered, hidden knowing full well that right outside of his door, the FBI lies in wait to arrest him. Or he may actually endanger the masquerade. Intriguing. Anyhow, please be excellent to each other and peace out, ladies and gentlemen.